Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for the beauty of this day, the beauty of the church behind us, and the beauty of the people that are sitting with me. Um, pour out your Holy Spirit upon this video so that we can do it in one take. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I am sitting on the steps of St. Meinrid. Technically, it's Our Lady of Einsiedeln Church at the uh, St. Meinrid Arch Abbey. And I'm sitting with two people that, well, I, you should be familiar with Liv because I've done a video with her before. This is Liv Jackson and this is Avery Nelson, both from the Newman Center, but they're doing an internship down here at St. Meinrid for the summer. So my question for both of you is, what intrigued you to come down to Southern Indiana? Um, and maybe some first impressions of St. Minor. Yeah. So. Where do you want to go first? Okay. Um, I remember talking to Ethan Schmidt about his experience last year with um, the internship, and he encouraged me to apply for it. Um, I was also a youth participant for this conference back in 2019, so five years ago. And it was just kind of like a full circle moment for me to come back. So um, that's what initially intrigued me. And being here, my first impression of the place is just that it's completely just so reverent and um, almost like promotes fear of the Lord in such a beautiful way um, that it's allowed me to grow in that part of my faith, not just seeing Jesus as a friend, but also seeing him as Lord and King of all. Excellent. Yeah, I also have heard about it from Ethan, but Brother James, one of the monks here, an alumni and native of Iowa City, he came and chatted with our Newman Center. And before I was talking with a friend of mine, uh, Hannah Dake, who used to be my discipleship leader before she graduated, and I was just telling her how I craved more and how I was wanting more formation. Um, and so I had committed to something. I had committed to staying open to wherever the Lord was calling me um, and like devoting my summer to him. And then this opportunity came up and I was really excited about it. Um, but at first only two men were talking about it and they were talking about a monastery. So I thought I was not, uh, not gonna be able to do it. But yeah, no, Ethan was a great support and really encouraged me and told me that anyone's welcome and that it's a great time. And then, yeah, hearing you, Father Jeff, his alma mater, um, and how beautiful it is here, was awesome and really encouraging. And then my first impressions were honestly similar to Liv's of reverence, but I was going to say a less beautiful word of almost intimidating, um, specifically like vespers um, or morning prayer. Or, and most importantly, like in the Arch Abbey Church, like it was a very intimidating because it was so beautiful and it was so well done. Um, and at first I didn't really fully understand the beauty of liturgy as in like losing your individuality in it and how that's actually a good thing. And this place has really taught me that. Um, yeah, so it's it was at first intimidating, now super beautiful. Okay. So we go out and then we come back. What do you want or hope that you bring back to the Newman Center for this academic year coming up? Um, I hope that I bring back some of the reverence that is so present here. And um, honestly, I don't know if this will be implemented, but um, I really love the way that they chant the liturgy and the hours. It's so beautiful and I'm hoping to do a little bit more of that, um, whether it's on my own or at Newman. Um, and then also just, I wanna talk to people about like the Benedictine way because it's really cool. And um, there's a whole rule book that they have. And I think the monks live a very special, beautiful life and it's worth sharing with other people. So yeah. Yeah. I I was also going to say chant, so I think we need to get on something, uh, plan it, but I also have been learning um, in a very special way the tradition of aura et labora, and so prayer and work, and it's been like, it's been expanding my idea of prayer and the way in which I spend my days and like where my mind is, and so I'm excited to like, yeah, lose, before I feel like I had a lot of distinctions between my schoolwork and my prayer, and I loved both, but they were at different times. 
And I feel like I'm learning what it means to pray all day just by being connected to God in the work that I do. Um, so that's my biggest one. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you how awesome it was that you guys were here. I come down every summer, but when I know people from the Newman Center, Ethan last year, so great shout out to Ethan. And uh, Hannah Gake wasn't here, but I'm glad that we mentioned her too, because two very special people. Uh, just to, to double down on the shout out for Ethan getting married on the 13th. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yes. <laughs> I, I have the calendar. <laughs> so, uh, we, we offer uh, this day in prayer for all those who were mentioned and all those youth participants that came down from uh, St. Mary's in Iowa City. So, uh, we hope to see you in Mass. God bless you, and have a beautiful day as the robins sing to the glory of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. amen. <laughs> Shout out to Patty McTaggart. <laughs>